New at four, sharing life on a North Carolina farm. The Harmon family is known for their goats, wildflowers, and Instagram. Chad Tucker takes us to Trinity for their story. There's about three acres of, of the sunflowers. It's a family affair for the Harmons. And work with your family. You got to have the family. During the pandemic, um, Bobby. I grew up, my grandfather was a tobacco farmer and a produce farmer. And Michael Harmon put the family farm into high gear. It is a lot of work, it's a lot of dedication, and it, it takes a true team, you know. A team they started sharing on social media. And people can't get enough. Your Instagram account is sort of funny, but um, we do like to do some agriculture education too. From the day-to-day -day workings to new additions, people are tuning in for Life on the Farm. It's been interesting, not not predictable, you know. Uh, I love the questions about the cows and the goats and the hay. Uh, that door should be unlocked on the other side. Even their son Reed's old Ford pickup has a fan following. I've read some of the comments my mom showed me. It's it makes people happy. He gets uh, comments on driving his truck. We have uh, workers that get inquiries from mothers wanting to fix up their daughters and. Uh, <laughs> Yes, the farm hands are popular. Got you one right there. And I just thought it would be fun to do a day in the life of what Will is doing. So we started What You Doing Will Wednesday. And actually, what you doing, Will? on Wednesdays is when we have the most views on our Instagram account. But it's everyone here that makes the Harmon Farm so loved online and down on the farm. I don't think it teaches them responsibility um, and appreciation for the land and learning how to take care of animals. There's not many children that get to grow up in this atmosphere, and I'm, I'm very happy and proud of that. In Trinity, North Carolina, I'm Chad Tucker.